Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Ooh, let me put a little highlight on my collarbone. Okay, that's much better. Hey guys, so for this video, I just wanted to kind of play around, have fun with a few new products that I bought. I just really wanted to try out new stuff and let y'all know like what are my first impressions of it, what I like about it. So I hope you guys enjoy and thank you so, 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 so much for watching. So of recent, I've been buying a few new things that I wanted to try out and stuff that you guys asked that I try to see if it's good or not. So I got a few stuff and I thought let's just have fun, let's just come up with something on the spot. So let us get started. So starting off with the face, I got the Rose Gold Elixir. So you guys know this is like Instagram's Rose Gold Godchild. Like I swear, everybody uses this like on all the Instagram videos on everything. So I just wanted to be, you know, part of the bandwagon. So I thought, let me try it out. And my skin is really, really dry. So having an oil would really help to moisturize my skin. So once we're looking dewy AF, then I'm gonna go in with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the color Moonstone. I'm gonna put this on my fingers and I'm just gonna use this underneath my foundation to give me that kind of glowy look off the bat it isn't glittery like you know what i mean it just kind of gives your skin that kind of glow from within so for foundation you guys recommended the ellie girl pro coverage i didn't really know my color so i got the color natural now looking at it though i think it might be maybe one shade too dark but i actually rather my foundation be a little tiny bit darker than a little lighter because i can brighten it up with like concealer and highlight so let's just hope this looks good from what i read about it it's supposed to be lightweight but somewhat medium to full coverage so let's test it out and see um, the color it doesn't look on camera it doesn't look like any different but on my skin here it is a little pink and i'm just a little more yellow it's a chinese and you guys i can't help it so it's looking a little bit more pinky on my skin so hopefully it doesn't oxidize and get any darker which is what i'm kind of nervous about but let's hope although not. it really is lightweight it doesn't feel like heavy heavy on my skin in terms of coverage it is doing a little bit to cover this kind of darkness i have here and here so that is good so let's go in with the real technique sponge and see how this blends out but you can see through um the foundation like how glowy my skin is because of the becca shimmering skin perfector and i kind of like that i normally don't ever go for a very like glowy glowy foundation just because i like the whole kind of matte look but i kind of like like how glowy and luminous this look okay so so far i like it it's not like my absolute favorite foundation like i can still see a few like dark spots peeking through but overall it covered everything so let's just see how it kind of wears throughout the day for my concealer i'm really excited about this this one is like youtube's holy grail drugstore concealer and i have to try it it is the maybelline instant age rewind i'm just gonna turn it and I got the color neutralizer because I love that like bright intense yellow um, under eye. So I'm just putting it on all the high points. I'm going right in my inner corner where I get a little bit of darkness. Right to the sides of my nose. And I am going to blend it in with my Real Technique sponge. Ooh, I like it. I like it, I like it. So it blends out really easy as you guys can tell. Like... I didn't even like put any kind of serious pressure on it it's already blended out really nicely oh you guys know that i am like extremely loyal to the la girl pro conceal in yellow but this is coming up really close so i am so excited about this i got the cad von D shade and light palette and as you guys know this one is like bigger than like this is like the most amazing highlighting and contour palette of life apparently like this is supposed to be like the it like the mercedes benz of highlighter contour so i'm so excited to try this out um, if it's one thing though i like to set my under eyes with a loose powder for the sake of this video i'm gonna try and set it with a pressed powder and see if that works i'm just gonna take this elf blush brush it's kind of taper and i'm gonna go into the color lyric okay so it doesn't have a lot of fallout which i like 
I'm just gonna set it right into the so it's definitely making it a lot massive. Do you guys see that? I feel like I will finish off Lyric so much faster than I will finish off any of the other colors. Because I love that kind of bright yellowy highlight. Um, another thing that I really like is the concealer underneath is not moving. Which I can appreciate in a concealer. Because sometimes concealer can kind of rub or move when you're putting new product on it. Or even like swiping a brush on it. Perfect. So we basically set all the highlighted areas. So now I'm going to go in with a little bit of contour. What color shall I go into? I'm thinking we can go into the color shadow play. It's the warmest color here. And then I'll go into the more cool tone color afterwards. Okay, okay. I see you coming through contour. Okay, so off the bat, it is really blendable. It isn't streaky at all. So I kind of focus the bulk of my contour at the top and then just kind of drag down any excess. Ooh, I'm looking so bronzed. I like it. I'm just going to go on my forehead. So I kind of focus the color at the outer corners, the two sides, because that's where my forehead is like the widest. And then let's just contour our join, that double chin. So once our face is contoured, then we can contour our nose a little bit. So I'm going to go into this more grayish tone brown. And we're just going to go down the sides of our nose. Alright, so in terms of the face so far, I really, really like it. It's still very glowy, but the contour, I love the contour colors. The only thing though with the highlight is I personally like to set my eyes with either a translucent powder or like a loose um, yellowy powder so that's the only thing that I like to do a little bit more than set it with a loose powder but I still love how the Kat Von D color Lyric looks underneath my eyes so let's start off with the eyes and then we can come back and finish off the rest of the face alright guys so I did my brows off camera because I'm literally using the same thing that I always use it's the Milani brow pomade in the color brunette this supposedly is really comparable to the Anastasia Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brow pomade so if you're looking for like a cheaper alternative to that then I definitely would recommend this one. For today's look, I am so excited. I recently got the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia. I have literally been sitting down just now, um, swatching each color, like figuring out what I want to do. I'm starting off with the color Burnt Orange. I'm going to focus that on the crease. And then I'm just going to go in with a big fluffy brush and just blend that color in even more for me i always like to start off with something warm on the crease like no matter what color i'm going with for the look i just find like once you start off with something warm on the crease just blending the colors on top of it makes it so easy so i would definitely recommend like if you're doing any type of look start off with a nice warm color on the crease to intensify the look even more i'm gonna go in with this gorgeous purpley color here this is the color love letter let me just look at it gorgeous and you're gonna focus that a little lower onto the crease and then with whatever excess on your product on your brush just kind of blend that upwards and then I'm gonna go back in with that big fluffy brush and then just blend that in you and always go a little lighter than you think you need to you can always add more but it's a lot harder to take off so I'm gonna go in with this kind of red ochre color right here on the other side of the Anastasia brush and that is what I'm focusing on that outer V and then with whatever excess on the brush I'm just kind of carving out that crease and then taking this side of the brush so if it's one thing these colors are hella pigmented so if I were you and like you're now starting off with makeup or you know you're not accustomed to like how pigmented colors are I would suggest go with a really light hand and you can always add more you know like don't ever go like and then like put it on so for a palette that it has a lot of kickback if you watch it can you see it doesn't have a lot of fallout which is really cool what should we do do y'all want to go more goldy or more pinky I'm thinking we should go a little bit more goldy okay let's go more goldy so this color is intense, like you can see every bit of sparkle. Now I'm going to take a tiny brush 
and just kind of really intensify that outer corner with that red ochre color if I had a palette my names would be like so Caribbean so like one name would be like doubles and that would be kind of like a yellowy color um, one would be like bacon shark I don't know I would have like real funny names Ugh. if I ever get a palette like one day in my life hopefully can you all please remind me of the time that I said I was gonna name one of the color doubles so for me though I have two different eyes as we all do Chanel do but this eye is a little bit smaller and the crease like the distance from the lid to the crease is a little different so I have to kind of edit it a little bit to make it look a little bit more even so I know y'all can see like how intense and pigmented this color is I'm using my normal liquid eyeliner in black this is one of my favorites it's always been one of my favorites um, it has a really skinny 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 brush so that's good if you sometimes are a little klutzy like me and you make a little bit of mistakes um, I like that this um, is thin enough so that you can fix your mistakes I'm just using um, one of my normal favorites, which is the Rimmel Sexy Curves. I love For my lashes today, I'm using the LA Colors lashes in the color, in the color, in the style, dainty. So this is how the eyelash looks. I think they're cute. And now I'm just gonna add a little bit of a wing liner just to cover the band. Let's work on the lower lash. I'm such a fan of this color and this color, so let's go in with those. And then I'm just gonna go in with that love letter color again, really lightly and just dust that underneath so that it has that pinky color underneath as well. With this really light kind of champagne -y pink color, just to highlight that inner corner and right underneath. And to highlight my brow bone, I'm using that same color. Ooh, look at how bright it is. For eyeliner, I'm using this Absolute New York eyeliner in the color brown, it's just brown. And then I'm just gonna add lots of mascara. Okay, so let's finish off the rest of the face. Oh, I really love how these eyes came out. I'm so excited. For blush, it's the City Color Brush. It's the City Color Blush in the color Warm Mauve. Um, this looks extremely bright, so I'm gonna have to tone it down just a tad. So I'm just gonna dip my brush in once, top off the excess. So first of all, it is a little bit streaky. I mean, I think once you blend it out, it looks good, but in terms of like really pretty blush, I like I think it's too much hassle to have to like blend it out like that constantly to get it to look good, you know what I mean? Like a blush should just look good after a few strokes and you're good to go. So I don't know if I would recommend this one. So I'm just gonna add one of my favorite brushes on top of it. It is the NYX Bakes Blush in the color Passion. I'm just gonna add a little bit of a highlight underneath my eye with the color Lyric. Then finally, I'm just gonna contour my face and bronze it up just a little bit more. And I'm just gonna dip into these two colors. Top off the excess. And then let's just finish off with just reinforcing that nose contour. For highlight, I am so excited. I have two new ones that I want to try and they're both affordable and from the drugstore. So the first one is the LA Girls Strobing Powder in the color 110 Watt. What? I don't know. And the second one is the Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder in the color Precious Pearls. So I'm gonna, let's try out this one first. I'm just gonna dip my brush into it, tap off the excess. Mmm, it's so pretty. I just like to bring my highlight up on these to my temples a little bit and then go down the bridge of my nose, right on my cupid's bow. So this one is a little bit more of a whitey kind of champagne-y color. Oh. 
Okay, so I am loving how these two colors mix together. So you get the kind of pinky pearly color from the Precious Pearls and you get the kind of whitey like blinding highlight from this one. So I I think I have a new highlighting combination. The lips, I want to go in with a new lipstick that I, well, liquid lipstick that I got. It's the color Bad Habit from Colourpop. Um, I find if it's one thing though, this liquid lipstick is a little thinner than the other ones that I have. The other ones that I have are a little bit more like moussey. This one is like really, really thin. I mean, I don't like it any less, but. So this is a little too bright for what I'm looking for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in to the palette and I'm going to dip my finger into this one and this one. Wait for this to dry a little bit more. And then I'm going to dab that color on top of it. So this is how it looks once the red ochre color is kind of just brushed on top of it i love this color by itself but i just think for this look it was just a little too bright but i love how this turned out like y'all yes. so guys i am highlighted to the gods our face is beat to the gods i had so much fun trying out like all these new products that i got i especially love let me give you all my top three that i would recommend to y'all this this and okay can i just give you all like a top five okay i recommend everything okay i recommend everything except the sissy color blush i think the one thing with this blush is that it's a little streaky and a little hot it's like it looks so intense in the packaging and then when you brush it out it's like streaky you see like you put your brush wherever and it doesn't blend so that's the only thing i don't like about this one i'm gonna play with it a little bit more and see if i can get it to look a little nicer but other than that i literally recommend everything else here so yeah guys i hope you all enjoyed this video i hope you like this style of videos me just kind of playing around with makeup trying something out like i had no idea what kind of look i was gonna do i just kind of went with the flow don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Bye.